Good morning, Pile families. This is Mrs. Swart with our next Monday update. Today is uh, September 8, 2020, and we were off yesterday for Labor Day. So today I'm going to talk about assignments. We are struggling to have students turn in their assignments. I know that in the spring it was not required that students turn in their assignments, so it is throwing people off a little, but there are daily assignments that students are working on. This is not like homework. This is actual classwork that is to be turned in. Um, in our class, we are allowing it to be turned in the following Saturday. So today, all students were assigned their work for the week. They have the entire week to finish it, and it has to be turned in by Saturday night. So I'm gonna show you how to access that and hopefully help our students who are struggling with turning things in. So let me bring up our Clever. And I am using another student's login information so that you can see it since we do not have a test student site. We're gonna log in here. And this is the wrong one. Give me just a second as I get this logged in. All right, some of you have probably seen this before that it sometimes Clever will let you write in, sometimes it doesn't. So this is my dear friend, Mr. Xavier's account, and I'm gonna show you how this works. This is exactly what your student's page looks like in Clever. Every single day, your student is required, not an option, required to log into Clever at 1.15. So when they finish with me at the end of the day, they are required to log into Clever and complete their independent work. So we click here on my Mrs. Swartz e-learning page and it takes them straight to their Clever account. Some of you who have been, and thank you for doing so, who have been on top of Clever will notice this looks a little different. I'm trying to make this easier for our students to get into our meetings and their work. So I've separated it. So the very first link is to our team's daily virtual meeting. So they click here, it takes them right to our meeting every morning. The second thing is their independent work. That is what they are doing from 1.15 until 2.30. School is not out until 2.30 every single day. So your student is required to log on to Clever and do some of their independent work. Now, if they finish all of their independent work on Monday, great. Then the rest of the week for their independent work, they scroll down and click something from the ELA, math, science and history, art, or the extra free choice activities. Every single day, I am supposed to see students logging in here. On my end, it doesn't look like this. It tells me exactly who logged in each day, how long they were online, and what applications they used. And we are basing grades on this. So students are required every day from 1.15 to 2.30 to be on Clever. So I'm gonna click on Wonders, which is currently the only place they are having a, a graded assignment due each week. So I'm gonna click on Wonders, and it does take it a little bit to get access to it. And it will take them to their main landing page. Now eventually, this is where they will have their math assignments. But currently we are not, I'm trying not to overwhelm the students, so we are just doing their Wonders assignment. So they will scroll down and find their grade level, which the students know how to do this because they did it last year in their classroom, whether they were at my school or a different school. Okay, so this student is in sixth grade, so I'm going to click launch the sixth grade. If they choose a different grade, that's okay. Not much is going to happen. So sometimes this will come up. Okay, so select a class. So he was in a class before that was from 2018. It's not in that class anymore. Here's our 2021, which is me. So he'll click on that. And he'll take a look here. It will say the student's name at the top as well as down below. Okay, and it tells them what we are working on right now. All right, so when we look at this landing page, you will see here with a number on the to-do list of five. So there are five assignments due this week. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. I apologize, there are four assignments due this week. This is a fifth assignment from September 6th that was never done. So this student already has an overdue assignment. So let's just start with this first one. So nine, eight, that is for this week, these four. I'm not going to click the button here because if I click submit, that sends it to me, but they come over here and they click on the resource on the right over here. And the students know this. 
They already know this. The only thing that is new to them is coming back to click submit because in class they would click this and then I would know they were in it because I could see them on it. However, I can't see them working on it when I'm over here in the classroom. So they click on their adaptive um, reader. Takes a little bit to load. I think this is the first time I've loaded it on this computer. So we'll see if it, if it likes me this morning. There we go. My goodness, it's a little slow this morning. There we go. Okay, so when the student gets here, they push start. And it, oops. Okay, and they have to follow the prompts, but I'm not gonna do it because it's not my assignment. So then when they're done, it'll tell them, congratulations, you've completed it. And they close it and they have to come here and click submit. If they do not click submit, there will not be a green check mark here, which means on my end, they never did the assignment. Okay, so they have to do the assignment first, then click submit, and then it comes to me. I know that that is an extra step and I apologize. I wish I had control over that. All right, so I'm gonna go back to this here, okay? So eventually there will be writing to do. We are not asking the students to write. We're doing all math in class right now. All we are asking is for them to be up to date on the stories we are currently working on and the concepts in English language arts. So they come here, they click their to-do list and they start working. This one here, Lit is their literature anthology. That's the next story in the book that we might be looking at this week. So they click here. It will open it in a new window. And once it's there, they click on these little icons and it will read to them. All right, so they will listen to every page through this entire story. And then they click out, I'm gonna say leave page because I'm done, and they click submit. If they do not click submit, I do not know that they completed the assignment. So it is very, very important that they come back and click submit. Okay. And let me go back over here. I'm gonna pull this up. So for this week, our focus, ELA is always in our WonderWorks book. So that's what they are working through in their large groups, our whole groups and small groups. Our focus this week is on different feelings. Um, we're gonna be working on empathy today. Independent work, like I mentioned earlier, 115 to 230. All students are required to work on their homework in Wonders. And when they finish and have extra time, they are to go in iReady. That's just like in the classroom when they're at their computer station, okay? Math, they're gonna be working on picture graphs. And then our important date this week on um, September 9th, they are to wear green for responsibility, all right? So please, if you have any questions, contact me on Dojo, or you can text me between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. on the Talking Points app, or you're free to email me as well, which is down here at the bottom. All right, so I look forward to hearing back from you. If you have any questions, I am always here. And remember, on the class story, I keep things updated here for you to be able to see what's going on. And you can always send me a personal message by clicking on this message tab. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you. Bye-bye.